So can you buy this for me? I'm I'm really hungry. I need like a couple dollars. You really need a couple dollars. Let's see what I've got here. Here you go. Here's five dollars. Could you hold this for me? Okay. Thank you so much, sir. What's your name? Howard. Howard. Why? Why? Why are you so kind to me? Well, you need help. And if there's anybody that that ever needs help, I'm, I'm gonna help them because that's you know that's what my, my wife would have wanted me to do. My wife inspired me to, to be a good person. I, I wasn't always a good person, you know. I, before I met her, I was kind of nasty and, and angry, and I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't help somebody if they, they would come up to me and ask for help. Really? But my wife was just such an amazing, kind person. She would help everybody, you know, no matter how things got for her. She would always think of other people before she would think about herself and her problems. Wow. So that's the way I'm trying to be now. She sounds in, like, in honor of her memory. She sounds like a very um, honorable woman. Yes, she was an amazing, kind person. And so, if you mind me asking you, what motivates you to keep this lifestyle of kindness, even though there's everything crumbling down around well, us? I, I just have to hope that if we're good to other people, you know, maybe they'll pass it on to other people and, and the world will be a better place. I just think, uh, you know, it, it's a domino effect. No, it is. That'll, that'll happen. And we'll have a better world. Because I'm a, what was your name again? Howard. Howard, Howard. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I, all these people were saying no to me. I was at the point of believing that kindness was non-existent anymore. Well, I, you... I think it's existing. We just have to teach people the importance of being good to others. You know, because that'll make us better. And it'll make the whole world better. So, and so, I, I know there's a whole bunch going on in the world right now, and you have this positive mindset. It's it's truly a rare, a rare trait to have. Well, I hope it becomes less less rare. Exactly, yeah, Howard. If we're, if we're I have something. I have something for you, Howard. Well, that's my five dollars. But you needed it. You know, simply, Howard. What I'm doing out here is I'm pulling kindness tests on these folks like you or the mother at the next aisle and I'm testing everyone's kindness to see if anyone is still kind nowadays. And I record these interactions to prove to people that they still exist. All okay. right. And Howard, today you're the first person that actually wanted to help me and I'm beyond grateful for you, man. Well, as I said, you know, this is what I, ha I have to do. This is to honor my wife's memory. And, and that's what she would do. I want to honor your wife too. And I want to help you. See, at the end of my videos, whoever helped me, I get to bless them. So, Howard, this bread, I want you to have it, because if you look inside of it, there's $1,500 in there. Oh, $1,500? That's unbelievable. Absolutely. That's oh, but, you know, I wasn't expecting anything in return. It's just, you know, this is the way I, I, I have to be. Mm -hmm. And, but, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you, this will certainly help pay off some of the bills for my wife's medical uh, expenses. Well, I'm glad I'm able to help you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, Thank Howard. You, you too.